All right. How's everybody doing this afternoon? So I'm super excited to be here today. I'm extremely passionate about entrepreneurship, and I love telling the following story. So it's all about people. And the story I like to tell starts in March of 2007. A colleague of mine from college and I decided to, decided to start a business called Pardot. The goal of Pardot was to reinvent business marketing online. So my co-founder and I were toiling away in Buckhead. We're building a next generation marketing platform. And from a business perspective, everything aligns perfectly. We spend the first nine months building the product, and then we spend the next several years refining the customer acquisition process. All the while building this company, Pardot, entrepreneurs keep raising their hand and saying, do you have any extra office space that we can sublease from you? Do you have any extra cubicles in the back that we might be able to rent from you on a temporary basis? So as the Pardot brand grew, the number of requests from local entrepreneurs grew as well. So I knew as an entrepreneur myself that there was a real desire for community. There was a real desire to surround yourself with other like-minded individuals, other people that wanted to change the world with you. Fast forward a couple years, in October of 2012, a company by the name of Exact Target bought Pardot from myself and my co-founder for almost $100 million in cash. It was the proverbial Atlanta success story. Two guys with an idea, bootstrapped a business, grew it to north of $10 million in revenue, and sold it all within five and a half years, from start to cold exit right here in Atlanta. So picture yourself, you're 32 years old, you've sold a company for almost $100 million, and you have many, many years ahead of you. What do you do next? I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to build the largest entrepreneurship center that I could convince my wife to let me buy. <laughs> and there it is. So I bought this iconic building at the intersection of Piedmont Road and Lenox Road, right in the heart of the financial district in Buckhead. One of the reasons that I chose this location is that it's a great in-town location. It's still ITP for the locals, so it can attract the younger demographic. It can attract the creative class. It can attract the millennials. It's not too far away from Midtown, from the Highlands, from Ponce. But at the same time, being in Northern Buckhead, it's readily accessible by the Northern suburbs. Many professionals move out to the Northern suburbs for the good school districts, for the suburbs, for the quality of life that Atlanta offers. So this large 103,000 square foot building, a 1986 mid-rise, and we set about building and transforming it into the best place for entrepreneurs to grow their business. So this Buckhead location appeals to the millennials in the sense of live, work, play. At this location, we have 15 restaurants that are a five minute walk, a movie theater, eight different hotels, condos, apartments. We're right next to the interstate. We're right near the Buckhead Marta train station. Everything that you would want for a vibrant urban core right within Atlanta. So now that we had the facility in place, the next thing that we needed to focus on was the culture. Now, when you look at an office, when you look at the interior design, when you look at the furniture, when you look at the colors and the elements of the space, those help emphasize the culture, but the culture really comes down to the people. At Pardot, we focused on three core values. We focused on people who were positive, self-starting, and supportive. From a business mission perspective, 
our goal was to be the best place to work and the best place to be a customer. We knew that if we followed those two things, best place to work, best place to be a customer, and we recruited the absolute best people who were positive, self-starting, and supportive, all other aspects of the business would take care of itself. All decisions we made as a fast-growing startup would be easy decisions to make. So for the Atlanta Tech Village, we set out to define our mission, our vision, and our values. So setting the culture, setting the tone. And this is especially unusual because this is a context where there's over 100 startups in the same physical building. We decided on four core values. Be nice, dream big, pay it forward, and work hard, play hard. In the context of all this communal space, communal game rooms, communal kitchens, communal hangout areas, this idea that we're nice to each other, we respect each other, this idea of paying it forward, the willingness to help out a fellow man with no ulterior motive is extremely important in building a startup community. So those four core values, be nice, dream big, pay it forward, and work hard, play hard. We had our foundation set. We had our physical building. We had our mission, our vision, and our values, most importantly. And now we set out to build the community side of the physical space. So from a community perspective, People don't want just an office space to hang their hat. They want a place to build friends. They want a place to hang out with like-minded individuals. So we have a focus on flexible, creative, workable space that's not your traditional desk. Whether it's a beautiful rooftop patio looking out over the skyline, or it's outdoor sofas so you can work on a nice fall day like we have right now. The goal is to bring the community together in a variety of different ways. From a community perspective, the people component is the most important component. One of the things that we've done is fostered a variety of educational programs, programming events. We have a weekly event every Friday at noon called the Startup Chow Down. And the Startup Chowdown is the largest weekly gathering of entrepreneurs in the Southeast. Last Friday alone, we had 225 people come together to break bread, to share stories, and to build relationships. This idea of startup density, the proximity of startups to each other, is much more than just office space. It's about building an environment of success. It's about having economies of scale for these events, these programs. We have over 30 mentors signed up that volunteer their time to help with these startups. We do a program called Office Hours. Every week, we have two to four mentors sign up for Office Hours. Much like a professor in college, they hang their shingle, they'll say, I'll be here for two hours. And then entrepreneurs sign up for 15-minute time slots so that they can go receive valuable advice and feedback. The Atlanta Tech Village was opened informally in January of this year. Everything immediately sold out. As traditional tenants in the building moved out, we converted more space to startup space, and more startups would move in. We now have 102 Atlanta startups in the same building right in the middle of Buckhead. From a city perspective, Atlanta has all the natural resources, all the natural ingredients to be a top 10 tech startup city. I believe in it so much, I believe in Atlanta so much 
that I'm investing $20 million of my own money to help Atlanta realize its potential. Our goal over the next 10 years is to create 10,000 net new high paying jobs in Atlanta by way of startups impacted by the Atlanta Tech Village. When we achieve our goal, we're gonna have a greater annual economic impact on the city than that of the Georgia Aquarium. And so today I wanted to say thank you for having me. I'm super passionate about entrepreneurship. I'm super excited about Atlanta. And we have all the elements of being a top 10 entrepreneur city. Thank you.